Hi guys, so this is a bit of a different video from my normal videos, but lately I've been getting into modding a lot and I really wanted to show everybody else on the internet how to mod. So anyway, this is my tutorial and this is just the first part. This is setting up MCP, which is the most crucial part in this whole thing. So anyway, basically you just have to look up MCP Minecraft as you can see up here or I've highlighted in the search bar and then you're going to be taken, this is the first result click on that, it'll be the minecraft wiki if it's not the minecraft wiki then you're in the wrong place but basically you just scroll down or you can click on the contents here and it'll bring you to the downloads okay so the thing that you need to do is download for your version of minecraft so our version is 1.2.5 so I would click download which is right here, all you have to do is click on that, but since I already have it downloaded, I'm not going to do that right now. The next thing you need, so I'm just going to exit out of this, the next thing you need is Eclipse, and the one that you want to get is Eclipse Classic 3.7.2, and this is how you edit the Java code, this is how Notch actually created Minecraft, was in this. So this will be 173 megabytes, so if you don't have 173 megabytes of space, then I'm sorry, but you can't do this. Um, so the Eclipse Classic, that's the one that you need. When I first started off doing this, I went for the top one without watching the actual tutorial and sort of screwed it up. But basically up in the corner here as well, it'll say for the versions. So you can go, if you have Windows, then you click Windows, but you still go to this. Or if you have Linux, then you do Linux. So, um, this is very simple. All you have to do is download it, and that's it. The next thing you're going to need is Mod Loader for 1.2.5. I also have that downloaded. So, you need to download that because this is also very important to make the mod actually work. So, that is all we need for that. So, this is basically what you're going to end up having right here. You're going to have your, your three downloaded folders, which is Eclipse to Mod Loader. I also have items that I've made so as you can see these are all the items that I've made these are all the items that are in my mod and these aren't even really all of them I like the redstone boots and all that stuff lapis lazuli weapons and armor um, so yeah I also have that and then this is the actual render files for what the armor and stuff looks like so again, very simple. If you have like, if you already have planned out what items you're gonna make, then make stuff for it. If you don't have it right now, then it's not um, critical to have it right now. But you are gonna need it later, and I'll show you how to fix it if you don't have it right now. So anyway, the first thing you need to do is, if you're on a Mac like me, you need to go to Application Support, and that is in the library. So you go like your user, then library then application support which is right here and then you want to this is my minecraft folder that I have now so I'm just going to rename this 1.2.5 now what you need to do so we're done with that now um, what you need to do is open up minecraft and just run it quickly so I just have to log in here if it'll load up sometimes it's a bit slow and Oh, whoops, I accidentally started typing in the YouTube. That's weird. Um, yeah, that was strange. All of a sudden, I just tried, tried to go to YouTube. Um, anyway, you just need to run this quickly. That's it. That's all you need to do. But then you need to go back to your application support. There'll be a new Minecraft folder. You want to go, and you want to actually copy... You want to... This is where the actual setting up of MCP starts. You want to press Command C, or you can just go Edit, Copy, but I prefer Command C, it's a lot quicker, especially when you get into modding, it's just going to work a lot faster. You want to go into your MCP folder. Now, when you first download MCP, it'll look like this. It'll be MCP 62, because 62 is the version, and MCP is obviously MCP, so for the purpose of this, I will actually rename this MCP Tutorial. Hopefully I just messed up the spelling of tutorial, okay. 
So that is what you need now. Um, just go into here. There's going to be all these files and you're going to be insanely confused. You need to go into jars. And apparently I already have a bin in here. Just I'm just going to delete this. You won't have anything in there though. That's very important that you realize that. You're going to go into jars and it's going to look like this. Just paste, or you can go edit paste item, which is your bin that you just copied. And it will be in here, just a regular version like this. And from there, my cat is uh, around me, so if you hear a bell, that's him. Um, from there, basically, we're now done with this. You want to rename this. Back up Minecraft.jar just in case you screw it up, and you want to open this with the archive utility. And I should have opened it up with archive utility first, and then renamed it, but whatever. Just this is just going to be your Minecraft folder, just like your regular Minecraft stuff. Uh, then you want to get Mod Loader. This is where the installing of Mod Loader starts. So you want to go edit copy or again you can just do command C and then command V or paste and just put all the files in here so now you're gonna have all these files in here you want to delete meta inf that's an evil file it stops you from modding so you want to definitely go and uh, delete that so now you have all these files here press command A it'll also be in here it'll be select all because that's selecting everything and actually first whoopsie daisies um, if you have your files for what you want to add in actually I probably should have one second <sighs> just copy your folder and then just paste it in here so now your new like your items that you're gonna be adding in here like the lapis bow, and I'm just gonna exit out of preview here. Uh, there we go. Um, all your items will be in here. Now you press Command A, and then just go compress 1,056 items. You should have around 1,056. Depending on the amount of items and stuff that you've added in, it should be around 1,056. If you have 1,060, it's fine. Um, if you have 1,057, then Make sure that your meta inf is deleted, or you just happen to have another item than I do. So anyway, you want to press compress 1056 items. Now you want to press kind. If you're doing it by kind like I did, it's just much easier. Then press kind again. Now you're going to have this. And you want to scroll up, because basically this is going to be like this. You want to scroll up so that you have this archive.zip. And you want to copy that, so press command C. Go back out here, paste it into here, and rename this Minecraft.jar. So now you have what Eclipse and um, MCP's thinking is a regular Minecraft.jar actually has mod loader and your items installed. Now if you haven't made up your items yet, um, what you can do is just Make sure that you're exited out of Eclipse like later on, and then open up here, and then just delete this, add in your items, then um, select it all again and compress it, and then drag it out into here and everything should be okay. But um, the next part is fairly simple. You want to just press Command Space or just go right up into Spotlight up here and type in Terminal. Now I already have Terminal set up. Because um, it takes a couple seconds to load up. It's not too too long, but it takes a couple seconds so Yeah, I've already done that so you want to go out and get your MCP folder which has all these files in it and press CD Type in so CD space make sure there's a space or else this won't work and then drag this into here Because that's what CD stands for is control drive So now it's saying that the control drive is this MCP folder so now go into here and drag in your decompile.sh. You don't have to do anything, just give it th a vote. It takes about 30 seconds, and now you see a whole bunch more files have been added in here. 
So now there's just a whole bunch more files in here. Um, it'll open up a program in here in a second. Um, oh, never mind, it already did. But it's called Retrogri Retroguard. Oh, I can't speak. Um, when that opens up, it's fine. Don't be like, oh my gosh, what is this program that's opening up randomly? Don't exit out of it. Just leave it. It's all good. Now it's going to say right here, one out of one hunk failed. It's going to say errors found. That's fine. That's perfect. That means everything is working. You might think, well, that's an error found. No, it's fine. Um, it used to say two out of four, and then it was one out of two, and now it says one out of one. Like, if you're running on older versions, it might say two out of four or whatever. And it says there is an error. Cannot find symbol items. Okay, so I will be back in a second. Um, for some reason, um, this is not, this is like, it is the version of MCP that you should be running on, but it gets up updates periodically, so I forgot to update it first. So I will be back in a second when it is updated. Okay, so I am back. Uh, I ran the update, and this is what it should look like when it's actually done correctly. For some reason, the mod loader that I was using, um, I don't know, it's like an old version. It has an error, like has a glitch in it, which prevents you to make mods. It's just sort of silly because it's called mod loader. Um, so everything is done now. Everything is perfect. Uh, this is what it should look like. It'll do all this stuff right here, and it'll be done. Um, the next thing you want to do, so this is the new mod loader that I downloaded. Um, I don't know, there's a glitch with the old one or something. You want to open up Eclipse, which is right here. It's loading up right now, obviously. And it's going to come up with, like, nothing right here, but because I've used this Eclipse before, and there you can see all my different things. Um, you're going to go Browse, and you're going to find your MCP folder, and in there is going to be a folder called Eclipse. You're just going to click on Eclipse and press Open. So that's what it should look like. Or you can just type it in yourself, whatever you want, but that is how you do it. So now that Eclipse is opening, it'll start generating the workspace here. Now it's going to say two errors and a warning. Uh, the warning is actually for mob spawners, which is a little weird, but it's just a warning on some of the programming. And because we're not making this for server, we don't have the server files in, there's obviously no server files, so there's an error there. But this doesn't affect anything you're doing. So to get to the actual fo files to mod, you just go client. Source, that's what SRC stands for, source, and then net.minecraft.source. And here are all the folders. Here are all the files in the whole game. This is what the game runs off of. So this is pretty intense stuff. So you can see item, which this is what we're going to be basing our, like, mods off of, we can add in items that are even more powerful than flint and steel. All we have to do, it's pretty simple stuff, is just, anyway, I'll explain this in a later date, but as you can see here, there's the golden shovel and gunpowder and everything is in here. And then there's also Enum armor material, which we'll add in if we decide to make armor which I might make it in a later date if it's requested. Enum tool material. This is where you can add in different things. Say you wanted to have bedrock. Whoops. And then you would type in these numbers here. So I'm just going to... There we go. And I don't want to mess with anything yet, but this is where everything is done. It's insane. All of all of the items are here. And we're going to be making this mod so that it's compatible with other mods, so you don't have to worry about that. But anyway, this is part one of making our mod. And I hope you guys join me for the next episode so that we can actually start adding in some items. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you if you liked the video and it helped you out, leave a like. It'll let me know that this 
tutorial was actually helpful. But anyway, I'm General Awesome. I'll see you next episode. Or I guess next part of the tutorial. And uh, yeah, peace out.